It did evolve from strain paint, which we thought was a little bit vague, to strain sensing smart skin. And since there are four S's, this has turned into S to the fourth power, or S4. As a chemist, I was very surprised to learn how widely strain measurements are important in the industrial world. The structures tell a story, and if we can only monitor them closely enough, uh, we can find out if there is a failure imminent. Each nanotube in our system is really acting like a little tiny strain gauge. So we paint these things onto the surface in a plastic film, and when the substrate is deformed by large stresses that it experiences, for example, an aircraft fuselage in flight, um, if it undergoes enough stress to make a permanent uh, deformation or stretching of that, of that material, then the film on top stretches with it, the film transmits that deformation to the nanotube, and then the nanotube reports that strain through a shift in its spectrum. So that's what we're doing, is using the nanotubes as witnesses to strain, and we interrogate them with light, and we capture the near-infrared fluorescence that comes out, and we delicately analyze for the spectral shifts. People want more advanced technology, which will get them away from wiring these thousands of strain gauges to test these aircraft when they're designing this new aircraft. Can we come up with a skin which can tell the story without actual, in a non-contact manner? And that's the, uh, that's the technology we've been developing for almost for two decades. In addition to the air, airlines and aerospace, it can be used in, uh, to monitor the status of bridge supports or pipelines or chemical tanks that store uh, dangerous materials under pressure, where you want to look for early signs of failure, which would be a kind of a deformation of that containment vessel. If you actually see the, sk the skin, it's actually almost transparent because the, uh, uh, the volume of nanotubes that we have is very small. Okay, it's only, uh, so it's practically unseen, but they tell the story very clearly because they, they are right next to the metal, which is under, undergoing the stresses and stress. That's the biggest advantage.